welcome back to my channel. I have been away because I have been working so hard on my wig launch and my wig line with Princess Hair Plug. And it is finally here. The time is finally now. You guys can go shop my wigs. This is my favorite, most, oh, signature color, you guys. And this one is called Pretty Pink. I am wearing this in 28 inches. So here's the back of the wig. Oh, just look at it, you guys. Yes, hair flip, yes. And I'm going to be showing you guys the other ones. Here is nude slip. This is, I have four colors in this collection, in my first collection. So this is in the color nude slip, which is 613 blonde. This one, 26 inch. All my wigs are 100% virgin hair. This is grade 10A Cambodian hair, you guys. So this is the best of the best that you're going to get for a human full lace wig, unless you wanna pay $1,000 and up. Next, we have Purple Rain. Oh my gosh, same exact as the last one, 150 density, 26 inches. And you guys see the luster and shine in these wigs. Cambodian hair is the highest quality of virgin hair you can get. That's why I wanted to do my wigs out of this hair. Oh my gosh, look at this. I will have a discount code for you guys below for $40 off. Let me show you guys the final colorway. Okay, here she comes. Okay, you guys, so the next one here is in the color Fresh Mint. Yes. This one is also 150 density, 26 inches. And next to the pink, this is my favorite color. Oh my. So here is a closer look, you guys. I am so, so, so proud of these. Let me undo the lace so you can see that there. I put my heart and soul into this line for you guys. They are, every single one is completely up to par and up to quality and up to my expectations because you guys know I've been wearing my wig for years. And the fact that this launch is finally here is just like, I cannot believe it. So for this first round, I chose spring colors and I just wanted to do something that's kind of in right now. You can do my classic pink. You can do something different, mint green, even on deeper skin tones, this mint green will look phenomenal. Some of you guys don't wanna do crazy colors. That's why I did nude slip for you guys. And I literally can't stop running my hands through this hair. So let me show you guys the inside. These are 100% full lace wigs. You can do combs and straps. You can do combs only. You can do straps only. If you need help on deciding what you should do, that's all on the website. Just click the link below. I love this cap. It's super duper breathable, you guys. It's different from these wigs from the ones that I used to make myself. These are completely breathable. The other thing that I love about these is that they're super easy to maintain and wash. This pink one, I have actually washed four times already. And this one has only been blow dried because with my pink ones, I like them more fluffy. And you guys know that's kind of like my secret to making it super fluffy. So all of the info is on the website, you guys, if you need help deciding anything. I have a great customer service rep. If you guys need anything, she's always there to ask questions. You can just email. These wigs will last you two and a half to three years. So this is definitely an investment. And speaking of investment, you guys, there are low weight options available. So for my barbs on a budget, you guys can get one of these. There's just two more things. One thing is the luster on these wigs. That is another reason I chose Cambodian hair. Cambodian hair is high luster. So do you guys see this shine? I do not have any, any, any product in this hair at all. This is the natural shine of this wig. Look at that. 
it is beautiful. Whatever length you get is going to be the length from the top to bottom throughout the whole wig. So as you can see, the front pieces are not shorter than the rest. Everything is going to be 28 inches if you got 28 inches or whatever. And they start at 14 inches, you guys. So if you wanna do a short haircut, a bob, anything, I just, I cannot, you guys. I cannot, like, I cannot believe I never have to make a wig again. Like, thank you, God, like, seriously. Oh my gosh, okay, you guys, so everything is fully stocked and ready to go. You guys have been loving, loving, loving the hair. Um, there are testimonials on the website. You guys can check them out. And yes, I okay, I'm not going to keep rambling. You guys can tell how excited I am. But yes, um, you guys voted for this makeup look. And yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. Oh, and make sure you guys thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel right, right now, you guys. And turn on your notification bell if you have not so that you're not missing any of my videos. Okay, so now that my primer has set for a little bit, I have gone back to the NARS Sheer Glow. And I am in the color Barcelona. Oh, God. I forgot to have my light on this whole time, you guys. You guys have seen it sometimes in some of my videos. My Ricky Skinny. I love it. It looks like this. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have been loving this thing. So if you guys are wondering kind of where that light just came from, it's from that. I used to kind of have it over to the side, but I'm trying to put it right in front of me. So now I won't have to use a little mirror. I'm going to give it a shot and just see how I like it like this, because I think this will help you guys be able to just see the tutorial overall, so. I have gone back to this, my Chanel Tan de Soleil for bronzing, which is just amazing. I love this stuff. And I've lately been using the MAC 164 brush. I do like to just go straight in. And I've just been using this to just start up my contour. For some reason, I don't know if it's because the lights are a lot brighter than when I do it at home or what it is, but I feel like I need a little more depth. So I've been using these two, Studio Finish Concealer and the Pro Longwear, and I've been mixing those together and I've been loving it. Oops. See, now for this part, I do have to use my mirror. Okay, so now I've kind of let my concealer sit for a few minutes before um, I go on to my setting powder, and I've been loving the Jeffree Star one. I did add a little bit of the MAC Yellow in here, now it's like the perfect color because before it was a little too light. So now it's just perfect. I love it. Oh, sorry, you guys. Forgot the light again. So what should we talk about now? Oh my gosh. The next video I'm doing the Q&A for you guys finally. I feel like we need Q&A questions right now. But, ooh, maybe we can talk about Princess Hair Plug. Everything with Princess Hair Plug has just been going amazing, you guys. I'm just so happy you guys love it. You guys love the quality of the hair. 
you guys love the prices and you know that that was the number one most important oh okay my it keeps going out okay hold on i do not know where i was but oh i went to go plug back in my light okay so i don't know where i was i was talking about princess hair plug but i came back with a giveaway yes we are going to do a quick giveaway i thought why not so i'm going to give away a 14 inch brazilian closure this is what the closure looks like i'm trying to hide my nail you guys super pretty super shiny super soft oh I just absolutely love my hairline, you guys. So here is a closure. We are going to give away a 16 inch bundle. Looks like this, and these are the pro bundles. So they're going to be thicker at the top than at the bottom. If you want super thick, lush bundles, go with our Lux bundles. These are our entry level bundles that are super affordable and they are grade seven A hair. The only thing is that these are single wefted. For me, all of the wigs that I've made are with these same exact bundles. And when you lay them out onto a wig or you use them as tracks in your hair, it is definitely not as noticeable. So I personally, I always use the pro bundles. Okay, next we're gonna give away an 18 inch. Here is the 20 inch. So the wefts, as you can see, are super, super neat and clean. You see also, once you get more hair together, the hairs that don't go all the way down are not as noticeable. To enter this giveaway, all you have to do is comment below and say why you wanna win this hair and repost this video on your Facebook page saying, I just entered the Time the Infamous Princess Hair Plug giveaway. So you guys, so after that, I go ahead and go right into my brows. I'm using the MAC Lingering Brow Pencil, which I love, and guess what? I think they just, just discontinued the color I'm in. Okay, you guys, so I'm back with my brows on and I have my eyeshadow base, which is the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extend Eye Base. And now we're going into this beauty, the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is just absolutely beautiful. I love this palette. So we're going to go ahead and start with this light colored MAC color here for our highlight. And you definitely just wanna use whatever color matches your skin tone, just like a few shades lighter. So we're just gonna pop that on real quick. And now we're going in with chocolate gold. And just go ahead and put this all over. All in my inner corner. keep on packing you guys like until the eyeshadow is falling off okay so now we're going to go into the just peachy mattes by Too Faced and we're going to take peach cobbler and that's kind of how I warmed up that um, outer crease a little and I didn't do a lot of this because I didn't want it to be dark. I just wanted there to just be a little bit of contrast. The MAC Time Sharon Osborne palette. I went in with this one. I love this one. It's such a soft, light brown for a crease. So I just went ahead and just took that right in here. Make sure you're giving yourself a crease, even if it's a super light one. Talk to me nice. Talk to me nice. If you are bad, then that song is in my head because I did a snap with that song. And she just messaged me back too. I just checked my Instagram. So that's why like I'm singing it again. Talk to me nice. To finish off that inner corner, I took Nylon by MAC, which is one of my all time favorites. Like, 
look how that just brightens up anything it's so freaking intense so now I'm just doing my super duper intense thick cat eye and I'm using the MAC brush black liner the same one that I use for my brows but this one is just in black okay you guys I have to hurry oh no because my lashes are about to dry but I don't have on my mascara anyway so I'm gonna take the Dior show blackout mascara my fave I've tried to find a different few other faves it just has not worked so I'm back at square one which truthfully is the best mascara ever it just dries out quicker than I'd like okay you guys so I bought a ton of the cream number 40 lashes you guys know these are my throwback OG triple OG like they were where it all started now I'm not going to lie they did change their lashes a little they're not as thick and heavy which I personally love the super thick heavy ones but these are like now more wearable, which is cool. If you guys want to finally give these a shot for some reason, babe, are you seeing six nine? They say six nine this and six nine that. We all my and all my strap. You know we're six nine that. Okay, so now to the bottom line, which is the most fun. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have not even noticed. I have not even put on my powder. That, see, that's how much I love this NAR Sheer Glow. It's just like beautiful. I'm taking the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette and I have been addicted to this pink. so now what i'm doing as you can see this one is way more intense i'm taking my little skinny angle brush and i'm stamping this right under the lash line you can see how intense that is okay you guys so we are almost done now we are going to take the Too faced life is a festival palette and we're going to take this purple right in here and that is going to go in the center the mac 3d pink glitter mac 3d silver glitter oh actually first you want to do your lower mascara or else your lashes are going to get all glued down Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose real quick. My boyfriend is outside and he like will not stop hitting on the window until I look up and leave. Now, I have been doing some different bronzers, the YSL Bronzing Stones. They're super duper pretty. They say YSL on it. And one is darker and one is lighter. So I'm going to start with Fire Opal. This one that I'm using now, this one I have not tried. I tried the other one and I loved it. I just needed something a little darker. So while I'm doing my lipstick, this can just kind of sit and get ready for the highlight. As always, I'm doing Strip Down by Matt.
Okay, I'm just gonna dab on a little bit of lip conditioner. I'm taking this beautiful, beautiful lipstick by MAC from the Gambatista Volley collection. You guys remember this one. This is in the color Margarita. I like came across this again and I was like, oh my gosh, I used to love that. And I actually mixed this Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in Nude Beach right on top. And I've actually been loving to mix regular lipsticks with liquid lipsticks. They like don't dry out on you as much. I actually forgot. I've been doing this technique that Kylie Jenner's makeup artist does. That's how I've been lining my lips a little different and I've been doing this technique. He said to smile and then take the lines up like that. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and took off my headband and I took off the powder. So, Bitter Lace Beauty sent me a whole box of rainbow makeup. I got a chance to finally unbox everything and this is one of the items that was in there. They're super favorite highlighters and everything that I super duper loved. And all the other ones are going to be for you guys for giveaways. So for the look, I did use this yellow one and this one is called Stardust. So I'm going to use this Morphe M510 brush. Yes, yes, highlight. Oh, I just love this, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to check out Princess Hair Plug. Oh, I just love, love, love this wig. Yes, you guys, if you have any more questions, please leave them below. And in, oh, and don't forget to enter into the giveaway. And until next time, I'll see you later.